Hey everybody, we're back with another episode of Sled Tech. Today, we've got two different flavors of RMK in the shop. We've got the Chaos and the Pro. We're gonna go through why we build both of them, who they're for, how they're different, and how they do what they do out on the hill. So before we dive into all the differences and the, the specs and the pieces on these suds, we want to talk a little bit about why they exist, where they came from, why we make them. The, the Pro came out in 2011 as the Pro RMK uh, with the Pro Ride chassis, but it was really the culmination of everything we had learned with mountain suds up until that point, right? Starting with the, the famous 97 RMK 700 through Vertical Escape, IQ, Dragon, all the learnings turned into the Pro. And it's really the classic Polaris mountain sled. It's very predictable. It's very, very well composed. It's all about balance. And the goal of the Pro is technical terrain. When you're going through technical terrain, the tight stuff, and you want to fit between trees, hold an edge, be really confident fighting through the, the really tight terrain, the Pro is the sled for it. We call it the weapon, right? Um, it's super balanced, very well composed. And that's really the, the lineage of Polaris mountain sleds that have got us here capability and performance when the terrain gets really challenging. The Chaos is a little bit newer uh, on the scene and it came out in, in 2020 uh, in the Axis platform um, and it was a, a bit of a, a pair to the Pro. Um, a lot of people really like the classic Polaris handling uh, but mountain riding evolves. As mountain riding has been evolving for 30 years and, and it'll keep evolving and we're going to keep making snowmobiles uh, for what our customers are asking for and that's where Chaos came from. Um, Chaos takes all of, the, all of the things we've learned with the Pro and, and all of the positives of Polaris mountain sleds, but it's a little bit more playful. Like how I talked about, the Pro is really a weapon. It's called the Pro. It's for that tight terrain. That's not where everybody wants to go and ride. People want to go have a lot of fun, do a bunch of wheelies, go jump some, some things, uh, and really ride the whole mountain, whether it's the trees, the meadows, the big open hills, go do some tricks, their best Caleb Kosturki impression, whatever it is. The Chaos is that versatile, we call it the All Mountain Snowmobile. Like I mentioned, a lot of the same DNA, a lot of the same engineering, just more playful. Uh, we call it the wild child uh, internally. It's a little bit more playful uh, and more fun to ride in some different terrain. So diving into the details on, on RMK Chaos and Pro RMK, they're really very similar. They're a lot more similar than they are different. Um, we mentioned some of that Polaris DNA and, and they both share uh, that DNA uh, very much. The basis for both is the matrix platform. So they both ride on the identical Matrix RMK platform. They're uh, both available in the slash and then the standard as well. So the, the short and then the longer tunnel. Um, and they share all of that rider position and riding, uh, riding style and riding design that we put into our snowmobiles. So when we talk about vertical steering, the body work, where the rider's positioned on the vehicle, the running boards, the suspension geometry, the skis, the spindles, all of that is the same between the two vehicles. And the reason is that the, the use case is very similar with just a couple key differences. And over the years of building some different mountain snowmobiles, right, we go back to the edge, through the Dragon, the Assault, and, and coming with the Pro, the use case that we found is, is very, very similar with some different nuances, but neither the RMK Chaos Rider or the Pro Rider wants to take a huge trade-off in one way or another. They both want to go attack really good mountain terrain, just a little bit differently. So they both share the Matrix platform. When we look at the engines, they're both available with the same engines, uh, sometimes a little bit different models or configurations, but 650, 850, 9R and Boost available in both of them. Um, and then the Chaos is available in the 146 as well. So the Pro is 155, 165 only. The Chaos adds that 146. Again, the wild child, super playful sled, that 146 is really just the, the, the furthest uh, end of the spectrum as far as playful with that shorter track. So diving into the Pro here, like we talked about, the Pro is, is that classic Polaris mountain sled handling, right? All about capability and balance, being super lightweight, attacking that tight technical terrain. How do we get there with the Pro? So we'll start up front. Uh, the Pro rides with our 36 inch React front suspension, uh, just like the Chaos, but that narrow front suspension really uh, builds in the agility and then the predictability that that front suspension geometry has. The Pro is actually available with two shock packages. So both from Walker Evans. The first is the Walker Evans monotube that you see here. Predictable response, uh, confident handling, right? It's plenty durable and it's super light. If you're looking for the lightest mountain sled on the snow, the Pro is it and the Walker Evans monotube shocks are, are a part of that. 
The upgraded uh, uh, version for the Pro is a Walker Evans Velocity, more similar to what's on the Chaos, and we'll, we'll talk about those shocks when we get over to the Chaos. When we move back to the, the rear suspension of the Pro, this is really where the biggest differences are. Um, the rear suspension of a mountain sled really affects the handling. That's, that's really what uh, makes the handling fore and after, kind of the wheelie versus ski pressure to, to be predictable. That's where the, the differences are, is in the rear suspension. So the Pro has a, a front track shock that's about a quarter inch shorter than the Chaos, and then it has a little bit shorter limiter strap as well. What that does is, like I've been saying, it keeps that front end down and it makes it more predictable when you're going through terrain. You think about coming through really tight terrain and the trees when you got to stop and you either got to make a quick turn uphill or you got to kind of fit through a couple of trees and then come back up or you want to go down and then up. You need the sled to react really perfectly every time. You don't want the sled to come up or dive down or do something funny. And so the pro rear suspension is all about balance. Coming back here to, to the rails as well, the rails are actually the same between the two vehicles now. So uh, for a while with Chaos, there was a very slight rail profile difference. Um, we did a bunch of development and kind of continued iteration in the, in the engineering group, uh, and it didn't really make that much of a difference. So the rails are actually the same now, uh, kind of meeting in the middle. They were a couple degrees off, and now both the Pro and Chaos ride on the shared rail there in the middle. When we come back to the rear, so the, the rear track shock here on the Pro, uh, it does have a heavier spring than the Chaos as well. So uh, we call it a 210 or 210 uh, rate spring in the back of the Pro uh, and a little bit lighter in the Chaos. And then the, the Pro suspension, the shocks on the Pro, whether you get the Walker Evans monotubes or the upgraded Walker Evans velocities, the suspension calibration is really designed around that balance and precision. So. Um, it's a little bit softer or maybe less aggressive than the Chaos is, uh, but really designed for being really compliant when you're in that tight technical terrain, moving a little bit slower, fighting through through lines. They're not shown on this, this slide, of course, like we said, but the Walker Evans velocities aren't upgraded for the Pro, and they have single stage compression, compression adjustment. So uh, one knob on the shock, on the reservoir, uh, with a, able to adjust the, the compression damping of the shocks. The Pro is available in uh, 155 and 165. Uh, the 155 is both the slash and then the, the standard uh, matrix platform. So that longer cooler and uh, the bigger snow flaps for a little bit more versatility, whether you're carrying more stuff or uh, ride some marginal snow conditions and want the better cooling. And the, the Pro Slash, which is what we're looking at here, it's 850 9R boost, 155, 165. And then for 24, both with the 275 and the new 325 track. All right, then we come over to the Chaos. So the RMK Chaos, like we said, launched in 2020. Uh, and it was all about being a, a different flavor than the Pro for a different style of riding. Again, attacking a lot of the same terrain, riding the same mountains, same snow, just doing it a little bit differently. Something that our, our riders have been asking for. They wanted something a little lighter on the skis, a little more playful, uh, and something that had a little bit more shock capability too, right? Go hit some bigger stuff. Uh, and that's exactly what, what Chaos is and where it came from. So uh, we went through a lot of the similarities with the Pro, right? And, and like I said, a lot of it is really the same. It's built on the Matrix platform, available in Slash and Standard, all those same good things. The key difference is, first and foremost, start with the shocks. So, the Chaos comes standard with these Walker Evans Velocity high-low shocks. So they're very similar hardware to what comes on the upgraded Velocity on the Pro uh, with a couple key differences. The first being high and low speed compression. So that's what you see the two knobs here. What that does is it allows the rider to really tune in different parts of the ride how they want to. So compression for both, so high and low speed compression, right? Compression is adjusting the, the rate at, at which the shock compresses when you hit a bumper or, or an event. The high and low speed allows you to tune out which events you wanna focus on. So the high speed and low speed refers to shock shaft travel. So not how fast the vehicle's going when you hit the bump, but when you do hit the bump or hit the event, how fast that shock travels. So the example that we always use is high speed is chatter on the trail. Uh, you hit a, you know, you think about trail chatter where it's a three inch bump, but it's basically like hitting a, a two by four on the trail, right? You run into it with the front ski and it jams that shock up really fast because it was a really quick event. That's, that's high speed compression. Low speed compression is more like landing from a jump or a G out or something like that where it's maybe a bigger event, but you think about landing down into softer snow, the shock is actually traveling slower. So, what that does out on the hill, like we said, you can tune the ride exactly how you want. If you want to bomb down the single track, go jump some stuff, go ride the trees, you have more adjustment in the chaos to get it to do exactly what you want. 
The other piece I want to talk about with, with velocities, and it's same for the, the pro and chaos, is position sensitivity. So a standard coilover shock has essentially one rate all the way through the shock. Um, when the shock is at uh, all the way out travel or, or early in the travel, it's got the same rate or the same compression or the same resistance, you might say, at the bottom of the stroke as it does at the top. Well, if you've ever ridden a snowmobile, you know that when you're riding down the trail and hitting little bumps, you want it to be more compliant. And then if you hit that big bottom out event, you don't want to bottom out. You want it to be more, uh, more, uh, more compression. So the velocities by nature are a position sensitive design. How that works is you see the, the reservoir here. Typically on a coilover shock, the bridge or where the reservoir connects back into the body is at the top. Uh, the piston has to go all the way up and bottoms out essentially at the bridge. We talked about position sensitivity, the velocity has the bridge lower. So as the piston of the shock travels up towards the bridge, once it hits the bridge, uh, which it does depending on which shock between 50 and 70% of the way through the travel, it gets stiffer. The piston travels past the bridge, closes off some, some uh, flow, and the shock gets 30% stiffer for that last section of the, of the stroke that delivers that best of both worlds compliant on the trail and softer events or when you're initiating a side hill and you want it to be a little softer. And then when I go jump something or you, you hit a G out you didn't, you didn't expect, you got that bottom out protection with the position sensitivity that you wouldn't otherwise have. And like I said, that is the same on the, the velocities on the Chaos as well as the velocities on the Pro. All right, and then when we move back to the, the rear of the Chaos here, this is where the, the other big difference is between the Pro. So like we talked about with the Pro, that front, uh, front track shock, front limiter strap, and, and the front torque arm angle and travel is really the, the magic difference between the two. So the Chaos has a longer front track shock. The shock itself, the shaft's about a quarter inch longer. Limiter strap is a little bit longer uh, than that than the Pro. Um, and that really allows that transfer. That's what that fun factor in that wheelie is, is it allows the vehicle to transfer more than a pro, gets the front end nice and light, gets the skis in the air, uh, and is a, is a lot of fun when you're out riding. The other difference in the back here is the, the rear spring. So um, the rear spring on the Chaos is a 180 uh, rate spring in the rear, again, helping the vehicle transfer, helping the vehicle get the skis up off the ground and being lots of, lots of fun, light, and playful. The velocities on the Chaos compared to the Pro as well are a more aggressive calibration. So we talked with the Chaos, we've talked a lot about high speed single track, jumps, more, more events like that. And the velocity calibration on the Chaos is really up to the task. So not only do you have more adjustment with the high low speed compression, uh, but you have a, a more aggressive starting calibration from the factory than you would on the Pro. So this here is a, a Chaos, uh, RMK Chaos Patriot 9R 155. This does have a new 325 track. Uh, just like the Pro, you can get the Chaos in both the, the slash, so the shorter tunnel, shorter cooler, as well as the standard matrix platform. So the, the longer tunnel, longer uh, cooler, and then snow flap for a little bit more versatility. Uh, the Chaos uh, comes in a 146 as well, and that's something that we don't offer the Pro. Again, that 146 is the ultimate chaos, as we like to call it, right? It's the most chaotic mountain sled we sell. Uh, that super short track, short tunnel, super nimble, really light and really fun to throw around. And it's an awesome crossover sled too. Riding in the UP or Quebec where you gotta ride some trails or maybe the snow's not as deep as it is in the mountains, but you wanna ride a lot of off-trail, that 146 is a, a really fun sled to ride. With RMK, it's really just pick your riding style. We've got the ultra capable, lightweight, precise Pro RMK for that super technical terrain. And then the party wagon, the RMK Chaos. Lots of wheelies, big shocks for big jumps and fun all over the mountain. It's really just picking the right sled for you. That's all we have for today's episode of Sled Tech. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.